Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, drink good beer. Apologies, uh, we're not gonna cook anything this weekend because BBC destroyed my schedule last week. I had to suddenly go on for an interview uh, on my research on long COVID. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna see. You need to have a BBC account to watch it. I apologize for American friends, but basically what I said was that long COVID will be an ongoing issue. And one of the stocks I'm gonna talk in the end today uh, has impact uh, on, on that. Let's get straight into it. Uh, last week I introduced uh, Hive uh, blockchain continuing on the same format. In the long run, many of the e-coins gonna win. Similar to dollar being reserve currency of the world, Bitcoin will become the reserve currency of e-coins. There will always be space for others like Ethereum. In fact, I'm actually more bullish on ethereum than on bitcoin i have explained the blockchain in the previous video so please have a watch who is buying bitcoin by the way guys so obviously i think everyone knows that tesla bought 1.5 billion because elon musk is the darling of everyone but what you guys need to also think about is who else is buying so micro strategy go google who they are uh, recently bought 1.3 billion, increasing their total holding to 3 billion. The word is B. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, uh, 30 billion. Coinshare, 3.3 billion. Square, uh, another good company, 220 million. The previous rally of Bitcoin was largely driven by retail investors. The current rally has been largely driven by institutions. You all know what happens when institutions step in. Not only institutions, <laughs> this is 177 year old bank. It's a Swiss bank, Bordier. It has added Bitcoin and many, many equines to its wallet. Money replaced barter system. Always think what's gonna replace money? Cryptocurrency will replace money. This is the direction of travel. People are thinking about 5G. You should always think about 6G. If people are thinking about supercomputing, you should be thinking about quantum. If, if you feel that you don't really understand Bitcoin, one way to expose yourself to uh, various uh, e-currencies is through an ETF. There are, there are plenty of ETFs but uh, this one is actually available on uh, ISA account in the UK. It's called BLOK. <laughs> Again, if you look at what they hold, they hold Riot, Mara, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. If you don't really understand and you still want to get exposed, probably investing in an ETF that uh, has a lot of exposure to blockchain technologies, you, you should consider this. Last week, we introduced Hive, also talked about Riot and Mara. I have actually added a lot uh, of Hive uh, on, on recent dips. The dips might continue next week because the market sentiment is not very good. So it's a really good time to actually add on. The company I want to introduce today is ticker symbol BBK. CF. Now, blockchain is decentralized. It's impossible to corrupt. It's a Canadian company. It's sitting at 0.92 dollars. Anything under one dollar is a buy for me. Uh, but I would say that please watch it for next week and see what movement it does. Bitcoin is going down. Ethereum is going down. So they might be even cheaper buying opportunities. The market cap is 184 million. Uh, they have approximately 195 million outstanding shares. Float is 177 uh, million. Approximately 43% of the shares are held by insiders, which is always a good sign. This company wants to bring compliance to the uh, e-currencies. It owns, operates and invests in crypto. In fact, actually they are adding crypto to their portfolios. So this company operates and invests in crypto businesses that support and enhance a compliant and regulated system. Just imagine the nightmare the governments are sitting on. In fact, their major customers at the moment are still uh, government contracts. They have several subsidiaries. The first one is Bitrank Verified, which is basically a risk scoring service that gives you easy to understand safety ranking of a wallet. Uh, the second product is QLU. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this correctly. QLUE. It's basically again uh, tracking the Bitcoins. It is going counterintuitive to the whole idea about decentralization. But for mass adoption and for governments to start, governments will have to do this. They have to regulate in some way or another. So again, they provide this product. The most exciting subsidiary is Nightcoins. They are bringing 100K revenue every day now. For a penny stock, that is pretty sensational. They also have this forensic sciences division. Again, bringing back to my point about regulation, tracking who owns what. And then they also have a, a training course. They want to governments, individuals to learn more about Equines. I was talking about Nightcoins. So this subsidiary, I visited their website. Uh, you can email the investor relations. They, they respond. So all seems very legit and the website is, is pretty slick. Uh, there is no fees trying to get Canadian customers to understand Bitcoin, to exchange Bitcoin. They actually have many, many uh, different equines on their platform. All of you now know my due diligence process involves 
going through the management. Even if I can find cleaner's name on the list, I will go through the history. Uh, don't get me wrong. I will go through each and every individual. So quite interesting. So Mark Bins is the CEO. Again, you can watch his interview, which is available on this website. Uh, looks like a seasoned professional with more than 20 years of experience. The president of Netcoins, Mitchell Dementor, he, he was the first person who actually had the Bitcoin ATM. So this is a very, very good team in my opinion. The slight area of concern is because they have applied for a regulatory approval for their exchange to Canadian government and they are basing a lot of their future uh, prospects in terms of they think that they will be bought by a bigger player. So that is the only thing I don't like about this company that the management already thinks they are subject to acquisition. But it's so cheap stock and just to increase my exposure rather than buying an ETF I still believe that if I can perform my due diligence I can buy at least five or six good companies I can grow with them and I can expose myself to many many equines i'm gonna give some bonus stickers today i have done my due diligence but i don't have time to explain the first ticker symbol is in marijuana space uh cannabis space is ticker symbol h i t i f uh the stock is uh, sitting around 1.62 it is about 375 million market cap. Outstanding share is 630. The float is 169 million. There is only one word for you for this company. It is Raj Garover. Look at the guy. Look what he does. I think this stock can have a sundial uh, and a Feria Inc. Uh, type of movement. I have quite a bit of exposure in my portfolio of this company and I'm going to keep adding right up to I would say 0 0.70 I am not a financial advisor my videos are made for entertainment purposes only the last company uh, again if you listen to that BBC uh, interview I talked about long COVID I talked about one in five to one in ten will ultimately have long COVID symptoms this company had a really good result of their phase two clinical trial about a drug called Artemi CTM they achieved 100% of their objectives and FDA agreed. The management is really energetic. They are very excited about phase three trials and if they get approval, this com this stock price is gonna go to the moon. It is still a penny stock because it's a London stock exchange. You can buy this on ISA. My plan is to have uh, at least 10,000 shares and I'm gonna keep buying in next week in my ISA portfolio. They are also in the cannabis space. The drug is by the way cannabis based. They also have uh, cannabis uh, products. Again, really hot area. H High TIF is purely uh, cannabis probably more rec recreational this is more pharmaceutical slash recreational they also want to expand to other indications like liver glioblastoma so on and so forth that's all i have to say i'll see you in next video